or the common, about this part of your life. Like my, my mother-in-law said, she said two things to ask her. She's not going to lend you her paddle, no, she's not going to lend your umbrella. <laughs> and then the little one that you had to be very skillful was a choreal, was, um, I keep that as an Indian word, if you tip, you, you, you're over. You have to be very good and, and you should see us talking in our shirts, our skirts modestly. Wherever is the lifeline, it's our highway to everything. Friends, market, school, church. Good afternoon. Boys and girls are all getting in their boats to paddle home. My mother will, will be happy to see you with your paddles. My mother used to go to school in the Pomeroon just Good like afternoon. you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Very polite children. She had a little boat she used to go on Concord. We had the first Concord, but I know about a little boat. Why did Granny call it Concord? I don't know, she had to name it something. We lived, as you know, two miles from the church, from Charity, where the church was. And you take off, I paddle over. We didn't have a because there we, we paddle. The old family of us is sometimes we pick up a, a, a couple of neighbors here. And we paddle up there in the middle of the night and go to church. Okay, my name is Pablo Humberto. I'm from originally from Argentina. I've been here for over two years already. And uh, we are two priests working here. We belong to the Institute of Incarnate Word. I was start, originally started in Argentina, and from there we start helping the different dioceses. Beautiful. Yeah, and uh, my main work here is like taking care of the dorm. We have we started a dorm five years back, and uh, which is trying to help those boys that you know because of distance they cannot attend school, so they will stay from uh, from Monday to Friday here, and then on the weekends they will go home. As a retired teacher, I was always proud of my grandfather Domingo and great grandfather JJ. As Domingo's children grew, he saw a need for a school. Great-grandfather J.J. De Silva donated some land on Hope and Charity across the river from where his grandchildren lived at Oakland. Other European families on the river employed teachers for their own immediate family, but Domingo built a school for all the children. Visiting Martindale was an important part of my pilgrimage. I was welcomed and enjoyed listening to the children singing their school song. On the way to Martindale School, we looked for St. Joseph, the place where the Campbell cousins lived. Unfortunately, I have to report back to David, there was no sign of St. Joseph's. Well, David, Uncle Clarence said it's about the area where St. Joseph would be, but we can't see it. Oakland, don't talk about Oakland. I was so sad about Oakland. It was a really nice place. My father, you know, he was a real worker. And all the trenches were made uh, and the garden planted and it was a nice house. But you used to call it a cassava bread house. Where you had made a mill for the cassava bread. And I don't even know what happened to those things. She had invented that, made that meal. But Mama used to, she used to have to grate to the grater. She used to just stand up and hold the cassava to the grater. And then it was kept, kept with an, it worked with an engine. So in, in a minute she would grate out the whole set of cassava. 